We're going to give you a quick soup to nuts of submitting your homework. Um, you're going to start in NetBeans here, and you're going to create a project. And this is shown in more detail in another video, but we, we can go through and create a new project here. It doesn't matter what the project is at this point. We're not even going to really put any code into it, but my homework. And so typically you'll create this project and it'll come up and you'll have your Java code and you know, it starts with the basic one and you'll be doing a bunch of stuff here and, and you know, just you, you know, your, your world will be much more complicated than this. And you write some code and your project is done or not. Maybe you are having problems. Maybe you can't get it to compile. Maybe you can't get it to run properly. There's a bug in it. Um, in any case, you want to share your code with either the submission or to ask your instructor on how to get um, some help. And so how do we get it from this one file or more likely many files that you would have as part of your code uh, to um, be able to submit everything? Because this one file, remember, has no context. It needs the project to tell it how it runs and what its friends are and the other code inside of there. And perhaps there's other files that you're using if you're doing IO or GUI or something along that lines. So we need to take this whole project and send it. Now there's two ways we can do that. One of them is within the tool where we can go file, export project, and we can send it to a zip file. Um, and to do that, we have to tell it where to go. So there's the root project there, and then we have to tell it where it's gonna go this way. And you can see by default, it goes to this strange app data local temp folder. So I can browse wherever I want to. Maybe I just put it on my desktop. I have a big cluttered desktop, but this is going to be um, Tony homework. That's going to be my homework. You can name it whatever you want to. You could name it the same um, as well. I mean, it might be easier just to do my homework, but it doesn't matter exactly um, on how you're going to do that. And so I've set up this to go to my desktop, and I'm going to export it. And this shows up, um, and actually for me, it popped up a little, how do you want to open this file? It's going to open it by default. Um, and it doesn't matter because you're not going to open that file. I'm actually just canceling out of that. Um, and then I have, I actually have to move this out of the way. I have this file over here, my homework. Now notice it doesn't have any extension associated with this. Um, I did this on purpose because it's very frequent that I've seen students who make this mistake when they, when they do it. So see, it just says my homework without anything on it. You can fix it by, in my case, I just hit F2 and do a dot zip on it and put that extension on it. And then you can see now all of a sudden it says, oh, see, this is a, a folder and it can open it up and you can see there's my homework and then all the, all the files are in there for my homework. Um, but the better way to do that is make sure when you go through and say file export project to zip, um, you just make sure that it says dot .zip when you do that. So when you say browse, put an alter alternative location, I pick, pick desktop, I don't just say my homework, I do my homework dot .zip. I'm going to do this my homework to dot .zip just to show you the two files that get created. And so I say save, you see it has to have that dot .zip extension because for whatever reason the developers in NetBeans weren't nice enough to make sure it added that for you. Most tools would. Um, and then now you can see it pops open desktop my homework to dot .zip. So if I look at my desktop, here's my homework to dot .zip for you. The other way to do this, um, which sometimes is a little bit easier because uh, it gives you a little bit more control, you see what's going on, is all of your files are underneath, unless you've configured it differently, um, your PC, the My Documents folder, and then underneath their NetBeans projects. And in a Windows machine, you can always right click on this and you can say send to compressed, otherwise a zipped folder. And at that point, you see it automatically creates my homework. And so now I know exactly where it is. I don't have to go through and change the folder. There's a few less steps to do. Um, so it, it really is six and one half dozen another. If I do it this way, I absolutely 100% know everything in that folder gets sent over. The export is a tool that NetBeans might choose not to export certain files. Um, Sometimes people have submitted homework and it's like, hey, you wrote this file out. It doesn't appear anymore. I think that might be because NetBeans 
is doing something as opposed to this way. Um, so it's your choice. Either one is acceptable because the most important thing is to get the code over. My preference, if I'm zipping up a project, is to do it by hand in the second way I showed you. As I said, I think it's a little bit easier. But now you have two ways of sorting that out and you can submit your code anytime you need.